And now here's Peter Pellia. Thank you. Hey, Melbourne, great to be here. The Gala, Sammy, Jay and Randy doing a great job. It is sad that a puppet is writing better songs than the shit they play on the radio. <laughs> you know the songs I'm talking about. I've got a hangover. Whoa, oh, I've been drinking too much for sure. That guy has never had a drink in his life. <laughs> been hung over. I'm pretty sure all of you guys have been hung over. And the one thing none of us have ever done is go down to the local recording studio hung over and record a pop song. Because I'm too busy on my couch drinking lime cordial, eating cake mixture and fantasising about euthanasia. That's how. Preferably in front of ice truckers. <laughs> Have we all had, uh, he doesn't even sound hungover. If you got a sound hungover, he sounds fresh. I've got a hangover. It should be, I've got a hangover. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've been drinking too much. Oh. <laughs> I can still taste the garlic sauce. <laughs> Have we all had a good start to the year? I reckon if you haven't stacked an Italian cruise liner, you've had a good start to the year. <laughs> That's my yardstick, to be honest. <laughs> I had a weird start to the end of last I had a near-death experience at the end of last year. It's still really hard for me to talk about. I, whew, I got a, um, quite a chilling phone call from Channel 9 asking me to be on their celebrity weight loss show, Excess Baggage. <laughs> fucked my afternoon, to be honest. <laughs> it's a weird phone call to get. It's, a, it's a, hey, it's, it's Channel 9. We're doing a uh, celebrity weight loss show. We haven't got a title. We think it's going to be Celebrity Boomba. Um, <laughs> we thought of you. <laughs> well, thanks. Uh, um, and I, so, to be honest, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm working on my own projects at the moment. I'm not really looking at hosting anything. <laughs> the exact noise they made the buzz at me on loudspeaker <laughs> but I can't like I can't go on a show like that I can't I can't do it because I, I don't have a sob story you need a sob story to go on a show like that you need to say why you got like that and I'm realistic about my weight I don't blame anyone I wasn't touched funny by a lollipop lady I just <laughs> so the host is going to come to you like Kate Sobrano in, in that instance she'll come to you I'll be by myself sitting in a meadow for some reason and <laughs> And Kate will say, oh, Peter, what happened to you in your life that made you such a fat fuck? <laughs> I know what you're thinking, best Kate Zabrano impression you've ever heard. <laughs> and I'll just have to be, Kate, to be honest, I think I got like this because I love chips, to be honest. I <laughs> love chips, beer and ice cream and pies. <laughs> I would, unless I just mess with their heads, maybe I could do that. That would be funny. This would make something up. You go, oh, Peter, why did you get like that? I'd be like, um, to be honest, I'm suffering from an illness. I'm an amnesic bulimic. I, um, <laughs> I stuff my face full of food and then I just forget to throw it up. It's great. <laughs> That's Peter Elliott. Thanks, Melbourne. See you in the